So many people over the years have made their fortune by investing in real estate. Today I want to help you figure out which direction you might want to go with your real estate investment strategy. Which one you choose has a lot to do with your level of risk tolerance and the amount of capital you have to invest. Once you decide to invest, there's three different models you can use. Strategy number one, and this is the most traditional way, is, is just to buy and wait for it to increase in value. It's called buy and hold, and then utilize the equity later. And this could be your, the home you live in, technically, and, or a rental property. Second strategy is flipping. It could be also called fix and flip, and these have been made really glamorous by all the TV shows, but it is the most risky of all the choices because they only show you the ones that worked out on TV. So, a couple of points here. You have to be really savvy in what the reno costs and repair costs are in your area and who can do them in, on a timely manner and stay on budget. Number two, you need to have somebody on your side that can help you determine the after repaired value or ARV as you'll hear it. It's not Zillow, it needs to be a highly qualified real estate agent. And then finally, number three is short or long-term rentals. And these are all about cash flow. And cash flow is defined as rent minus expenses, minus taxes and insurance, minus your mortgage payment, that equals cash flow. And cash flow is the name of the game. So the two different types, long-term rentals is like a year or more. And then the short-term rentals like Air Airbnb or VRBO, which for the last few years have kind of been the darling of the real estate investment world. And as of late, they're kind of taking it on the chin um, because we're a little bit oversupplied. Um, there's those type of rentals or even executive rentals as they're called. Somebody you may rent a house to um, short term while they build a home. And the, the strategy here or the, the draw here has always been that you can get a little bit more money uh, because they're shorter term and there's not as many of them. So in conclusion, choose an investment model that aligns with your level of risk tolerance. That's a big one. Number two, study. And you can contact me for a list of resources. I've got podcasts and books that I can turn you on to. Shoot me an email or, or DM. I'll be glad to give you that list. And finally, build your dream team of realtors, lenders, contractors who understand real estate investments. They don't all understand just because they have the license to do it. Hey, thanks for watching and hope you get to buy your first real estate property soon.